What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Quinn Way. Basketball analysis coming to you with a NBA breakdown. Demarcus Cousins, 24 points, 12 rebounds, 46 from the field, 78 from the free throw line, 1.7 blocks, 1.5 steals, 3.6 assists, and 4.3 turnovers. His efficiency really has fell down the last couple months. First thing we'll talk about is his scoring. You see that he got the ability to put the ball on the floor and finish and get draw fouls and get to the free throw line, and he can finish with contact. But he, that's a skill set for a big man to be able to dribble and play make and ball handling with the ball in his hands and be able to finish off the dribble from the three-point line, even in from the free throw line. And that's going to talk about him in the post. He's just so big and strong and quick, and he got a nice soft touch around the basket. And like I said, he can finish with contact, and he just bangs and bodies you and put his body all on you and makes you work defensively, and he can still finish over the top, and he can still finish with contact. So it's real hard to guard him one-on-one. -on -one. You definitely need a double team, but he can still finish, and if he misses, he goes back and fight for the rebound. And another thing about his game, he got the mid-range jump shot pretty much on lock. He can shoot it off the dribble. He can shoot his spot up. He really can do it all offensively. Like I said, he can finish in the paint. He can draw free throws. He can finish attacking the basket. He can shoot the jump shot with ease. Dribble, pull up jump shot, catch the ball, spot up jump shot. He really mastered the offensive game in the NBA. There's no way you can hold this man. He's the most dominant big man in the league, and he requires a double team if you want to even have a chance of stopping him. Now we all talk about is his rebounding. He just a beast on the offensive boards. He just fights. He battles. He got the mortar. He got the energy. He got the anger to get the rebound. He can get multiple rebounds at once. He just keeps fighting. And then when he get the rebound, he goes for the putback. He goes for the dunk. Or he even gets just gets fouled. Like you see, he just draw fouls. He just so active on the rebounds. It's ridiculous how many rebounds he gets. And he's he really the only rebounder on the king. So he needs to be active. Next, I'm going to talk about his playmaking. He can finish passes in the high post. He can finish it off the dribble. He can finish it from the post in the from the middle. So he can do everything playmaking-wise. You see that beautiful pass to Nick Skowskis. He can do tricky and fancy passes, too. He can do bounce passes, chest passes, and, and over-the-hand passes. He can really do it all passing-wise. And he's averaging 3.6 assists a game because of his playmaking abilities and he really can trust him with the ball most of the time because he can make the right decision whether it's passing scoring or getting to the foul line he can really do it all offensively next we're going to talk about my final thoughts but before that i want to talk about his defense his defense has improved a whole lot he had three blocks a game he had three blocks this game and he also averaged 1.5 steals and 1.7 blocks He's not a lockdown defender, but he's getting a whole lot better and a whole lot better without fouling. He used to be a foul machine. Now he can contest and block shots without fouling as much. He's learning the game. He's a student of the game, and his defense has gotten a whole lot better. He's still not an NBA defender or all-NBA team defender, I should say, but he still worked hard on that part of the floor, and now you see the steals and the block stats is adding up. I think he's still got a lot of work to do before he becomes a Mark Gasol or a Joe Kim Noah. But he still has improved that a whole lot more than he ever has been. He's becoming a two-way player slowly. And I just want to talk about his turnovers. The average 4.3 turnovers as a center is kind of crazy. You would never think a center would average that many turnovers. But DeMarcus Cousins is the franchise player in Sacramento. So he has the ball mostly in his hands. And the more chances, like I said about Westbrook, the more times you got the ball in your hands, that's the more chances you're going to turn the ball over. And DeMarcus Cousins commits a lot of turnovers because he has the ball in his hand. They rely and die about his playmaking. And he, he's the primary decision maker. They need him to do everything. They need him to score. They need him to rebound. They need him to get sticky steals they need him to get blocks they need him to get make the passes so he averaged a whole lot of turnover because he asked to do a whole lot and he has to do something to compensate but once they get another player that can take the ball out of his hands another third player another all-star caliber player like rudy gay is one of them and then demarcus cousin once they get that third piece he can get the ball a lot more out of his hands hopefully it's a point guard and then you don't have to worry about demarcus cousin committing that much turnovers because the ball won't be in his hands only primarily just to score. So DeMarcus Cousins has really been dominant this year. He's definitely an all-NBA first 
or second team selection. He's putting up 24 points. That's just dominating. His field goal percentage has dipped. He went from shooting 49 to 50 percent to 46 percent. That's because he's taking tougher shots and he's going against better opponents because he's in a Western Conference. So his field goal has taken a slip, but it's still over 45 percent. And he's been taking a whole lot more jump shots because they've been double teaming him in the post. So more jump shots means your field goal percentage is going to drop. Because you ain't going to never shoot 50% from the mid-range. Ain't too many people in the NBA doing that. So DeMarcus Cousins has just really been an all-around player this year. Defensively and offensively, he's dominating the NBA. He's an impact player. He he really turned from being a lot of top five pick lot to fooling out his potential. And I still think he can get a lot better defensively. And I think he can polish his game a little bit more. So I don't think this is the best DeMarcus Cousins can get, which is kind of scary because he's still in his early 20s. He still can get a whole lot better because it's still a little game, parts of the game he can polish. So I like DeMarcus Cousins' potential. He already an all-star. He already an all-NBA player. He's going to be there perennially. But the thing about it, is he going to be in Sacramento for the next three years? Is he going to be happy in Sacramento can they build a team around them fast enough so he can start winning and becoming an all-star vote and being an all-NBA first team? He needs to start putting wins together, and I don't think he can do that in Sacramento right now. It's really up to the general manager and the owner to really put a team around DeMarcus Cousins so that way he don't waste his prime on a losing team like Kevin Love and them was doing. You want to be winning, you want to be competing for championships, and that's something that he's not doing right now in Sacramento. So I don't blame him for wanting to leave because – if you ain't winning no games, you ain't getting a chance to compete for a championship, what's the point of playing in the NBA? So that's the decision he's going to make. Is he going to sit there and rebuild with the Sacramento Kings, or is he going to up and, up and ask for a trade and go to a contender right away? So that's the decision he's going to have to make. Is he going to play for nothing or he going to play for something? So let me know what you guys think. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. Let me know what you guys think. In the comment section below if you like this video check out my older videos if you like this video if you like my older video subscribe also hope you guys enjoy the video hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day quinn wade basketball analysis signing out peace